G'day! In today's video, I'm going to be opening up a Dell Inspiron 153525. Also has the uh, model number P112F. And it's got a Ryzen 5 processor in here, 8 gig of RAM. And I believe that this one can be up, well, it does have two slots in it. So I'm going to open that up and find out. And if it does, hopefully I can upgrade it. I'm going to use a small Phillips head screwdriver. Now, if any of these screws are, are of a different length, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm going to go off the assumption that they're all the same size. So far, all these front ones are. Yep, still the same. I suspect these three at the back may be different. Oh, cool. This one here has a neat little feature as well. It stays in, but it also lifts up the back. So it actually gives you somewhere to pry. Do it. It's the same length. And this one here has lifted it as well. Same on this side. And from here, you should be able to use your nail or a small little bit of plastic or a plastic pry tool, an old bank card. And just work your way around. And that should start popping it off. Like so. Cool, I'm happy. I'm happy with what I'm seeing right now. Have plenty of room for upgradeability and repairability. What do I mean by that? One, the battery here can be removed and replaced if wanted. I'm going to disconnect here on the battery. So I'll zoom you guys in and then we'll do a bit of an overview and then proceed with the RAM upgrade. Zooming in, I should be able to get my nail on either side of this white connector and pull it towards me like that. That is the battery disconnected. Typically with the battery disconnected, it's worthwhile doing, as I have heard plenty of stories where people upgraded their RAM, mustn't have shut off the computer properly, or and then shorted out the machine and killed it, or changed the NVMe drive and killed it that way. Looking here, we're going on over everything. We have one replaceable battery with the model number G1 or G91J0. We also can add in a 2.5 inch hard drive, be it of uh, an SSD or just a standard hard drive, so you do have that option and availability. We have a single NVMe slot here, looks to be the full size, this has a little adapter on it, but I'm assuming it only runs to about here. That's a single screw here, and then this lifts up, pulls back. And once that's removed, you should be able to add the new one in, do a complete reinstall of Windows from there, and away you go. We can potentially upgrade the Wi-Fi card, which is located here, very similar to the NVMe in its removal. While I've got it open, I'm just gonna just tighten up the hinges slightly, as I do find these always go loose. Going over this side, we have the APU. So that's just the CPU and GPU all in one. Cooling-wise, dust-wise, it's looking pretty dust-free, so I don't think I really need to worry about that too much. I'd expect to see dust settling on the fan if it has been in a very really dusty environment. Going over here, we'll cover two more things first. One, tighten these up slightly. And we have a removable charging port over here. So that one there runs over to here. So if it does get damaged, you don't have to take out the main board and resolder it, which is definitely one advantage. To lift out the ex existing ramp, pull these metal tabs outwards, pardon me, outwards, like so. RAM should sit up like that, and you should be able to grab it with two fingers and pull back. There is a little notch here. Uh, right about there. There, which corresponds to here. That lines back up loosely. It should just kind of slot in. You should be able to wiggle it slightly, and then just push down. And it should click itself in like so. That releases, that grabs, what are we? We're 8 gig of 3200 or 3200 megahertz. So I'll see what I've got to put some extra RAM into this. So I've got some pretty much dirt cheap, crucial 8 gig DDR4 3200 megahertz. Brand new stick. Get them from most PC shops, Amazon, eBay. Pretty much bottom of the barrel stuff, but it does exactly what it's meant to do. Add that here. Push in slightly, 
Okay, that required a little bit more force than what I was expecting. Yep, we're in. I'll take that out and double check. Oh, looking okay. Just seemed odd how much of a challenge that was to insert. There we go. Down. Bam, done. That's all you need to do. You don't need to do anything further to that. You don't have to configure it. Just once it's in there and it's happy, it would simply work. Next up, I'll reconnect the battery here. Just lining it up, pulling the tab forward. If you do accidentally go on an angle, you may bend one of the pins internally, so try and keep that as straight as possible when you plug that back in. Next up, got the bottom cover to put back on. So my battery's connected, my RAM's installed. Next up, one of these, put this back over the top. Should be able to just pinch down. And these two screws in the corners won't want to go or won't want to push down. You'll have to screw them down like that. That actually clicked itself into position. So excellent. This side should do the same. Push. There we go. This one here. Here. So all fairly straightforward once that's once the RAM's on and the bottom cover's back on. It's a matter of putting all your screws back into the original locations. Don't be too concerned about jumbling up the screws. On this particular model, they seem to be all of the same size, which makes it nice and easy. No chance of muddling them up. Anyway, that will do for today. Hope this helps you, and I'll see you later. Hopefully you have some trouble-free installation of memory in your Inspiron P112F. Bye.